This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Christ being raised from the dead dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. The whole world's darkness and its scattered. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. But the voices of all who have gathered here rejoice in the gift of new life. Let the divine mysteries of our faith rejoice. Let all the earth indeed find joy. Let the church rejoice. Let every pierced person here find joy and rejoice. The words for this day, he is alive, he is risen, and he goes before you this very hour. Let us together sing, Christ the Lord is risen today. Please rise. Jesus. We shall not die, but we shall live forever. 
Through God's grace, Christ died for our sins. He appears among us now to claim our loyalty. Open the gates of righteousness to every man.
And guess what? I have one of these, I think, for all of you. Now, if we don't have enough for everyone, will somebody promise to share? Okay, I like that. There's one for you. Now let's see if we can have that. Huh? Don't open it yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. All right, let's see who else. Here we go. Let's see that everybody gets their egg this morning. Huh? Here you go. Here you go. There you go. Oh, and there's another one for you. Oh, you know, you, who, who's missing? There we go. Who else? There you go. Hold tight. Because I want something else for you to do for me. There's another one. And how about one for your sister in the back, too? Huh? Can we do that? Okay. Anybody, everybody have one? No. You don't need one. How about back over here? Okay. Like you and Gilma. There you are. Okay, now I want you to do something special for me. I want you to take the egg, one felt, well it goes over here. There we are. Okay, now does everybody have an egg? Okay, here's what I want you to do. Take the egg, and I want you to put both hands on the egg. I want you to put both hands on the egg. Both hands. Both hands. We got it? Everybody got both hands on the egg? <laughs> okay, so let's us pray together with both hands on the egg. Gracious God, we are so deeply thankful this morning for the promise that Jesus can overcome even the grave and that we all can find the gift of new life. Bless our children all together this morning and bless our families as we pray all of this in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you all very much, and we'll sing to you now as you leave. Huh?
inspiration this morning. The first lesson of our faith comes from the prophet Isaiah. We know the prophet Isaiah to be the most prolific of those proclaiming God's purposes for all in the community. And these words are his. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine. Of rich food filled with marrow of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheep that is spread over all nations. And he will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. And the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading and the hearing of this brief but important portion of the historical witness of our faith. Promises of Scripture are sure all those who come and are deep, heartily sorry for the transgressions of their lives will find in this very hour forgiveness. Let us be engaged in our prayer of confession. Gracious God, in whom there is no bias or exclusion, we confess that our love is limited frequently to those with whom we choose to associate. Our faith is restricted to what we can prove. Our service is reduced by our greater interest in the trappings of success. We have allowed our faith to become a partner in our lives, rather than the bread that influences and transforms the lives that we live. Will God forgive our unfaithfulness and make today a time of new beginnings. In Jesus' name.